you've started to get healthier. You've started on your fitness journey. You started just making progress and then disaster hits and something derails you and you fall off the bandwagon and whatever saying else that goes along with that. I don't know. And you you just struggle. You're constantly on this yo-yo back and forth. Like I'm making progress and then I'm not making progress. Why do we keep failing? Why? That's what we're diving into today. Strap in and get ready for episode 178. Let's go. The future of fitness. How do you gain muscle mass? Fitness is not complicated. It's simple when you break it down. There's so much information out there. No fads, no diets, just plain simple habits. You're listening to the Bones to Bulk podcast. Hey, welcome to today's episode. My name is Brian Parody, and I will be your host. If this is your first time tuning in, welcome to the show. So glad to have you here that you've chosen this podcast to listen to. And for my return listeners, thank you for coming back. It means the world to me that you just take the time out of your day to tune into this. Like for real, it it just means the world. We release new episodes every Monday and Thursday. So make sure to tune in and check those out on a weekly basis. If you have not signed up for our text community. You can text the word meal to 706-222-7551. You will get a free meal plan delivered right to your phone. That's right. You'll get a link. It'll have a PDF that you can download to your phone. In addition, you'll be joined to our community and you can text me questions at that number. I send out a few weekly texts, just some encouragements, motivation. So great way to get plugged into the Bones to Bulk community. Again, text the word meal to 706-222-7551. All right, with that being said, let's dive. So have you found yourself making some progress? Maybe you see some results. You know, you're changing the way you eat, you're changing your workout routine, and you're feeling good, and you make some changes, and then something happens. You know, maybe it's a life event. You know, maybe something changes at work. Maybe something changes with your schedule. Maybe you have a kid. Maybe you're going back to school. Like, something happens to derail your progress and to make it a lot more difficult. How do we deal with that? How do we stop the yo-yoing of back and forth? You know, um, um, this is my week, I'm getting healthy, and then the next week is crap. And this is my week, I'm getting healthy, and the next week is crap. Like, you probably know this. If you, you know, if you've been at this for any amount of time, you've probably experienced a little bit of this. And it can vary as, as to how extensive it is. You know, I, I've seen it where it's, you know, maybe just a small derailment, whether maybe a, a week or two, and things kind of get off track and then jump back into it. Seen them go on for months where it's just, it's like a cluster. <laughs> and you're spinning out of control and you don't know what to do because, hey, it was working and I was doing great and I don't really know. Like, so what's going on? Why are we failing over and over? Well, first off, we've got to change our attitude towards failure because failure isn't necessarily a bad thing. It can be, sure. And it can suck in the moment. We can be upset. Like, I mean, I can look back at failures in my own life and they were terrible. Like, I didn't enjoy them. I failed at fitness for a long time. I failed at, gosh, a lot of things. I failed at jobs before. Like there's been a lot of things that I've had to work through and it's never fun. It's never something you're, you you go home and brag about like, Hey, I failed at this, right? It's, it's like, dang it. I failed at this. I suck. Do I have it in me? Can I, am I capable of even doing this? Those are the real thoughts, the real fears that, that pop up in your mind. You know, I was laid off in 2017 and it was devastating. I was working like three part-time jobs that were not the greatest. I mean, I was thankful for them because it was, you know, I had to take something and, but it just, it devastates you and you feel like, man, I've screwed up. I failed. Where did I go wrong? I shouldn't have taken that job to begin with. And then I wouldn't have gotten laid off. And we go down this rabbit trail of thoughts that just consumes us and we place the blame on ourselves. And it can be a very dark place when we fail. And so, yeah, I know me saying like, oh, well, failure's a good thing. You're like, yeah, whatever. Failure sucks, Brian. Well, I get it. It does. And you're absolutely right. But the failure brings us to new places. Failure is the only thing that will sometimes get us out of the state we're in because sometimes it takes us failing to realize, crap, I've got a problem. You know, how many times have you maybe hit rock bottom or hit a low place in your life? And yeah, it sucked, but it was a turning point in your life. You were determined that that was never going to happen again. And you change things for the better. And so when I say we have to, you know, reevaluate our outlook on failure, that's what I mean as far as just because we fail, it doesn't mean that we're done. 
that there's not a second chance. There's always a second chance. And with fitness and with food, failure can come very frequently. You know, we can fail on a weekly basis. We can be going good for five days and then have a get together and just screw everything up. And we feel like we've undone everything. We're back to the beginning. And first off, we have to realize that we're not. We're not back to the beginning. You know, even if we've undone some work, we're not back to where we started because we know so much more. Our mindset is in a different place. So we have to recognize that like, hey, first off, yes, I failed. Second off, how am I going to allow that to affect me? And we can allow it to affect us in two ways. One common way I see is, well, you know what? I already screwed up today, so I'm going to screw up tomorrow. I might as well. I've just shot it all to hell. So why not just let, you know, Saturday sucked fitness wise. Saturday sucked with my eating. I'm just going to roll it into Sunday and have a repeat. And we do it so nonchalantly in a sense. We don't think about what we're doing. We're just like, well, I screwed up. So I might as well, you know, just I'll start over on Monday. And that's the attitude that we have a lot of times. And I've been there and it's a really bad place to be in because, you know, two terrible days is way worse than one terrible day. You know what I mean? And but we get in this state of mind like because we screwed up, we might as well just keep screwing up. Well, no. OK, I screwed up. Sure. So let's go hard at it tomorrow and do better and apply the things that I've learned from screwing up today. And we've got to realize that this is a slow process. This doesn't happen overnight. We don't become these perfect fitness people overnight, this 30 day fix to your perfect sculpted ass and all this nonsense that you see out there on the internet. Like none of that shit is real. And we have to realize that this is a journey that can take years. So we've got to get out of that mindset, you know, that just like, ah, I screwed up. Like pick yourself back up. It's a lifelong journey. It will take you time. You will learn new things each week. You will learn new things each month and you will slowly apply those to what you already know and build upon it. And it's this slow build and that's okay. It doesn't have to, everything's so rushed in life. When we look at our life over the span of things, time flies. Like, I don't know about you, but holy crap. Yeah. 2020 has been this crazy, just warped year, but it's also flown by. Like how the crap are we almost at? What are we almost at Halloween? And there's going to be Thanksgiving and Christmas. Like it's crazy. What I'm saying is like, don't feel that this process has to just be over and done with in a month. And if you fail, you screw that up and you might as well quit. It's a learning experience. So when you fail, ask yourself some questions. Why did I fail? Maybe there was something that caused it. Maybe there wasn't. Maybe you bought some stuff and it was in the house and you couldn't resist it. You know, there's usually something we can pinpoint to why we failed. Maybe you had a really hard day and you turn to food to kind of relieve some stress. Maybe there's that friend you've been hanging around with who you know is not a healthy influence in any way. And when you go out with them, you get wasted and you eat a ton of crappy food and then you feel like shit the next day. Like we all have trigger points usually and we usually can pinpoint, not always, again, not always because life can just sideswipe us sometimes, but usually there's something we can pinpoint our failure to. And so when we do fall, it's important to ask ourselves, you know, what led to this? How could I avoided this? And really kind of deep dive it and say, you know what, this may happen again, what caused me to fail today. So how next time can I better prepare myself to not fail? Maybe you have some event that you go to on the weekends, or you have a, a work luncheon that you have to go to, and there's not healthy food options. Well, okay, so maybe it's unavoidable, but what can you do to better prepare for it? You know, maybe eat a lighter breakfast that day. Maybe pack something to eat before you go so you're not starving when you get to that place. You know, there's small little things we can do that aren't hard. They just take a little bit of pre-planning that can refocus our thoughts on, you know, well, I'm failing or I'm cheating or I'm doing whatever. And so don't get caught up in the weeds with, oh, well, it's just going to be terrible. No, there's ways around it. There's ways around it. So I hope this encourages you if you are kind of back and forth, you have ups, you have downs, you have wins, you have losses. That's just part of life. I mean, we all do. I can count wins. I can count losses. Like there's a lot of both. So I just want this to encourage you to keep going regardless. 
Don't let the failure slow you down. Don't just get overwhelmed with the sometimes yo-yo feeling of getting in shape. You are making progress. With that being said, if you are on any social media platform, please hit me up. We have a great community of people over on Facebook, a Facebook group. So if you're on there, check us out. I'm on Instagram, TikTok, Pinterest, YouTube. Uh, If you've not checked out our YouTube channel, I'm approaching 400 videos on there. Insane. So if you're curious on exercises or diets, like I probably have a video on it. So check that out at youtube.com slash bones to bulk. All right. Remember whatever walls or fears or failures you're experiencing, guess what? You can get past those failures. You've got this.